It's a little bit windy out here than I expected, but the bite should be good. Usually when the water is rough like this, the bite is on. Feeling pumped. Let's start getting bait and um, hopefully we get on them today. I'm stoked. This is the type of weather where I get on grouper pretty good. Some, some really big ones too when it's rough like this. I haven't even started fishing yet. I'm super stoked. We still need to get bait, so there's that. First things first, gotta get bait. We're not gonna spend too much time getting bait. Probably gonna get like a dozen. Like I said, we only have a, a few hours of fishing time left before the tide comes to uh, a complete slack. Hopefully we don't have to work too much to find the uh, decent sized pinfish because I know sometimes it can be a struggle trying to find your hand sized pinfish. Those are the ones that are uh, the big grouper like. Man, that water is stirred up. It is ripping out. I wish I could just start fishing right now, but can't fish without um, without bait. Not a bad size pinfish. We'll take them. Just in case we don't get any, any bigger ones. This guy will do. That size right there is pretty decent. But the bigger, the better. You know, with these pinfish, when, you, when you're out here trying to look for the, the good size bait, sometimes you got to spend time looking for them. They're not always going to be at the, uh, the, the same spot that you normally get them. Sometimes you gotta drive up and down the pier and look for, for the good sized ones. The majority of them are gonna be small, especially at the end of the pier. The further down the pier, the smaller the pinfish. I don't know, might just be me. <laughs> Let me know if you guys can relate to that. Usually I get the good sized pinfish right near the, um, the entrance. There it is, good one. Oh, it's a snapper, lane snapper. You cannot use that for bait, guys. It is illegal. Put them back. Ah, small pinfish. That's the size you don't want right there. Little guy. That's a better pin right there. Sometimes they're just right underneath you. You don't gotta cast far out. Like I said, you just gotta look for them. And once you find a school of them, just keep casting to the same spot and you'll get bait in no time. Pretty good size uh, bait so far. Not bad. So I'm literally just dropping it straight down right here. Oh yeah, that's a better pin right there. Heck yeah. We're gonna get probably a couple dozen pinfish and we'll start fishing for the gag grouper. Super stoked, man. Should be a good day. Just so pulled up to the first spot. Let's send our first pinfish out there. Leader is a little short, but um, we should be okay, he says. Watch, I get broken off here, but we'll see, man. First bait going down. First juicy pinfish going down. Good size bait right there. Gonna hook them through the anal fin right above it, just like that. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Oh yeah, that, that current is ripping out, man. Tell you what, it's gonna be a struggle if I, when I do hook one up. It's gonna be, the fight's gonna be insane, guys. It's gonna be insane. With that wind, pushing that water out, and that big old grouper at the end of the line. Man, I'm at disadvantage. That was grouper. No way that grouper came up the surface and hit it. That was no dolphin, guys. That grouper came up the surface and exploded on that pinfish. I've never seen anything like it, guys. That grouper came up the surface and exploded on that uh, pinfish I had out there. Jeez, incredible. It was definitely not a dolphin. Not a single dolphin came up and he hit it way out there. And I knew my, my, uh, my pinfish is on the surface because that wind and that, that tide just ripping out. Sometimes you can't, um, let enough line out, let enough slack out for them to get down. So be sure to let, let a lot of uh, line out, guys, when there's a lot of wind and, and when the current's moving like that. Oh, so I just netted this, uh, this big old pinfish here and it looks like he's got a mark right there. That's like a, a hook mark. Somebody had used this pinfish in the past and let him go but we're gonna send him out there. You can see it's like healed up. It's crazy, pretty cool. No 
You got me in the rock, guys. Whew. Well, that woke me up a little bit. Definitely got me in the rock right there. Oh, we gotta wait him out. Definitely waiting this guy out, man way too early in the morning right now to just break them off <sighs> felt that bite and that's a big one but to for, for him to like rock you like that that's a big fish that is a big fish definitely over 24 inches right there man that was a <sighs> forget how hard they fight that woke me up a little bit for sure <sighs> man out of breath already Almost had him though. Oh man, come on. It's part of Skyway Pier fishing for grouper right here, man. It's part of it. You're gonna get rocked up and you know, you're not always gonna land them. This is what I'm talking about right here. This is what makes it fun. You know, just never know. Every trip is different. Mm -hmm. I'm out of breath. There we go. Got him. Finally. About time, baby. Oh my he might not even be a keeper. We'll see. He might be. It's gotta be 24 inches. Let's measure this beast. Oh, this guy rocked me twice. Oh yeah. 25, baby. 25 inches. Yo. 25 and a 26 actually. Check that out. What a tank, what a tank. So pumped, man. 80 pound leader, got him out of the rock. First keeper of the year, of the season. Let's put this guy in the box and um, try to get another one. Man, this guy fought. That bite came out of nowhere. Like, I was not, I was, basically, I'm still waking up. <laughs> but as soon as this guy hit, man, he freaking woke me up for sure. But let's put this guy in the box and uh, get back to fishing. Seems like this leader is still good. I mean, it's frayed up, but I think it'll be all right. Let's send another, another bait out there here. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Big old pins like this, they will not, they cannot resist big old pinfish like that. They love that. Big juicy pinfish like that, you have a better chance of uh, getting a bite. Don't even bother with a little pinfish. Oh, we got a dolphin. Nice. Dolphin just showed up. There's that. Let's put this guy back in the uh, bucket for now. Hopefully we get another bite here. You just never know, man. Just never know what's gonna happen. You might not get a bite here. You might have to move down, but 
that's okay. You see what I mean, guys? When I say that these fish fight, I mean, anything, like I said, anything over 24 inches, they are gonna throw down. So you have to give it all you got when you hook one up because you only get a couple of chances. Um, sometimes when you come out here, you won't even get a bite. So you really have to focus, pay attention to what's going on with the line. If you're, you're, uh, your, your pinfish is panicking or um, freaking out, definitely be on top of that because they will hit any moment. And when they do hit, like I said, you better give it all you got because if you don't, you'll get broken off. Tell me, do you believe in those monsters? I'm talking dreams so big that they're haunch. Are they a common? That's how you know if you gotta go and get it, get to win and not conquer. I had to go out and get it without a sponsor. Kept it real, never crooked, yeah, that's honor. Now I can go out and get it how I want to. Hashtag bless, I choose. That's another good one. Come on, baby. Let's get him up. That's a good one. He might be a keeper. He might be short, though. He's short. He's still fought though, man. See what I mean? Out of nowhere, these guys hit. Got him, got him right on the cheek. Grouper cheek. It's probably 20, 20 inch grouper right there, 21. Little guy. Let's put this guy back in the water. He is a little bit short. They gotta be 24 inches. Um, you know, to keep that guy's definitely short. He fought though, I'll tell you what, man. I thought he was a freaking tank. Got broke off on the structure. The bite's been super slow. I've been drifting pinfish for like, I wanna say 30 minutes to an hour. No bites. All right, guys, that's gonna be a wrap. We've been drifting bait for 30 minutes to an hour. Not a single bite. The tide's coming into complete slack. So we're gonna call it a day. Man, that 26 inch grouper fought. This is what I'm talking about, guys. When you come out here and uh, target these grouper, make sure you're beefing up that tackle. Before I close out this video, let me show you guys what I was using for today. So the rod here is the Shimano Therese, 50 to 100 pound class. This thing is basically a broomstick. I mean, 50 to 100 pound class, super stout. This is what you need though, to be able to pull these grouper out of the rocks. And I have this rod paired up with the Shimano Saragossa. 10,000 plenty of drag 33 pounds of max drag um, this is the PG version PG stands for power gear so that means that you're gonna be able to crank with ease I mean you're not gonna gain much line but you're gonna be able to have leverage when you crank because you can crank really fast with the uh, the power gear compared to the HG the high gear 50 pound Andy black braid and we're running 80 pound um, trick fish leader just a mono, 80 pound mono leader. Six to seven foot uh, leader should be plenty. For the hooks, we're using a Mustad uh, short shank size 7.0. 7.0 or 6.0 should do you just fine. All right, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.